Hey guys, it's Danny here. This year, there's been huge improvements to Lightroom presets. But you can't experience it because your Lightroom presets are not up to date. And the main reason is because nobody knows how to create these new presets. There's a secret tool so hidden you probably didn't even know it exists. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to find this hidden tool and how to upgrade your old Lightroom presets for Lightroom CC 2019. First, you need to know what's new with Lightroom presets. Here's a Lightroom 2019 preset. In the develop settings, you'll see that it uses very few settings. The biggest problem with Lightroom presets was that they were destructive. They overwrite your develop settings and force you to use a preset first approach. There were ways to create lightweight presets that were less destructive. One of which is by combining settings into an RGB tone curves. But most people don't know how. This was a huge problem that needed solving. So Adobe came up with profiles. You can now create non-destructive presets by compressing everything into a profile. And it's easy to do as you'll see in this tutorial. Another important feature is opacity control. Most of the time, presets are either too strong or light. And for the longest time, people have been asking for a way to control the opacity of their presets. Back in the days, you had to install third-party plugins. But now, it's built into profiles. Now that you know the benefits, let's learn how to upgrade your presets to these non-destructive presets that uses profiles. Remember earlier when I said that the tool is hidden? Well, it's hidden because it's not in Lightroom. You need to use Photoshop. And it does get more hidden after this, you'll see later. So open Photoshop, and you can open any photo you like. Next, go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Before we continue, I'm going to fix the white balance and exposure. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing it as an example and I'll show you why later. Switch to the Presets tab and select the preset that you'd like to upgrade. Here's the preset that I'm going to apply. By the way, this is a premium paid preset. I've anonymized the preset name to protect the creator's brand. Once I apply this preset, you'll notice that my photo got dark and the white balance is off. This is an example of a destructive preset. Here's what's going on. If we go into the settings, you'll see it changes the white balance and exposure. This means that I have to correct the photo again, which is a huge waste of time. Adobe's solution to this is Profiles. To create a profile, go to the Presets tab. Now if you click on the New Preset button, it'll let you create a preset. But how do you create a profile? And where's the button to create a profile? Here's the secret. Hold the Alt key, Option key on Max, and then click on the New Presets button. You'll notice that the window is different and at the top it says New Profile. This is the hidden tool and I honestly don't know why it's so hidden. Anyways, give your profile a name. If you want to put it in a different group, you can click on the drop down menu and select new group. Next, uncheck any settings that you do not want to move into a profile. How we're going to upgrade the preset is by moving develop settings into a profile. And when it gets moved into a profile, you cannot edit these settings later. The benefit of this is that it's not going to overwrite your existing settings. So you do have to kind of choose wisely which settings you want to use. In general, you should move every setting except for one that you really want to leave control for. For example, I'm going to move everything except for its split toning. This is because I want the split toning to still be adjustable afterwards. There's more settings below, but for the goal of this tutorial, which is to upgrade our existing presets to this new standard, we don't need to use these settings. 
I do use them for all of my new products. And if you are an experienced preset creator, these are settings that you definitely want to dive into, do some more research and learn how to use it. Congratulations, you just created your very first Lightroom profile. Now let's learn how to find it. Go to the basics tab and then click on the profile browser button. Here you'll find the profile that you just created. Click on it to apply it and then click on the close button to go back. Now don't worry if your photo looks over processed. It's temporary, you can ignore it for now, but don't try to fix it because we're not done yet. To finish upgrading our preset, we're going to save this as a new preset. Go back to the presets tab. Click on the new preset button, but this time don't hold the alt or option key while doing it. We actually want to create a new preset and not a profile. Give your preset a name and put it into a group if you like. There's a lot of settings here, but you should only check mark the ones that are used. To do this, click on the check none button to uncheck everything. Now check mark the treatment and profile and process version settings. If there are any settings that you didn't include in the profile, for me it was the split toning, check mark those two. And then when you're done, click OK. We're done. Now it's time to test your preset. First, reset all of your settings back to normal. You can do this by holding the Alt or Option key. And you'll notice that the Cancel button changes into a Reset button. Click on that to reset your settings. Now before we continue, I'm just going to fix the white balance and exposure just as an example. You don't have to do this if you don't need to. Now go back to your Presets tab and find the preset that you just created. You'll notice that this time, when I apply the preset, the color correction I made is still here. And looking in the develop settings, you can see that all these sliders are untouched. Also, do you remember earlier when I unchecked the split toning option and I put it back into a preset? If we go to the split toning section, you can see that the setting is still here. You might be asking, Where's all these settings for this color grading coming from? Well, I'm glad you asked. Go to the basic section and click on the profile browser button. Here's the profile that is color grading your photo. You can control the opacity using the amount slider on the top. This slider goes from 0 to 200%. Now anything over 100% is not guaranteed to look good or work. Depending on the color grading, you might get weird colors or tonal shifts. So if you're using anything over 100%, really double check and make sure your photo looks fine. You just learned how to create these new Lightroom presets, but there's a lot more that they can do. Behind the scenes, I'm developing new color grading techniques and algorithms. For example, my Travel Lightroom preset pack lets you use a strong color grading even on portraits. It uses one of my algorithms that recover 50 to 70% of the original skin tones. If you want to download new and innovative Lightroom presets like this, visit my website at sparklestock.com. For a flat rate, you can download everything on the website, including any new products for one year. If you do sign up, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please remember to hit the like button. Now it's kind of funny how everyone has been asking for opacity control for the longest time ever. And now that it's out, you can't use it because 99% of the presets are not made to this year's standards. That means that they do not use profiles and because of that, there's no opacity control. Adobe has made it so complicated because now you have to use Photoshop and the button is hidden. I mean, it's so hidden that it's kind of like an Easter egg. 
I really wish that Adobe made everything simpler. And I think if they made everything simpler, a lot more preset creators would adapt to this new standard. But hopefully this changes soon. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.